Hey everybody, welcome back to Bones and Brews. So today we're gonna to show you a really quick and easy recipe that's great in the summertime, wintertime, anytime. We're gonna make some pico de gallo. Be great with that smoked brisket tacos you're making at home. All right, so got all the ingredients already chopped up, so we're gonna go ahead and just start making the pico. So what I used here is about two pounds of chopped tomatoes. I use Roma tomatoes just because it's the winter time right now and they look really good at the market. Um, summertime might differ, any tomato will work. All right, get those in our bowl. And if you're asking what this little handy little area here, my prep area, this is called a prep deck. You can check them out at prep, prepdeck.com. All right, so we got our tomatoes in here. Then I used a large jalapeno that I cored out, took the seeds out. Slice it up and dice it up really small here. You're free to leave the seeds in there in the core if you want a little bit of a spice here, pico. So we'll go ahead and get that in here. All right, our next piece is I used about a fourth of a cup of diced fresh white onion. And I've also got some fresh chopped cilantro. This is also about a quarter of a cup, maybe a little, give or take, you can add more cilantro, take it away, depending on how much you like cilantro in your pico. All right, and then to top it off, got myself a fresh lime here, and I'm simply just gonna squeeze that lime juice directly across my other ingredients. All right, I'm only gonna use half a lime right now, I'll save the other half in case once I taste that I decide I want a little more to that. And then I'm also going to add just a dash of salt. Mix that together. It's got such a great color to it as well. All right. So what I typically like to do is once I make this mixture, so between cutting it, and prepping it right now, putting it together, you're talking 15, 20 minutes tops. I like to then put it in the refrigerator and chill it for 30 minutes to an hour before serving. I, f I tend to find out that once you leave it in the refrigerator, the longer you leave it, the more those ingredients really start to blend together and taste a little bit better. So a few hours later, even better. Um, and we eat a little bit now, we'll save some more for later. All right, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little taste test here. Got myself some chips. Mm. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in the refrigerator here in a second so we, the family can enjoy it here in a little while. But like we do on every episode of Bones and Brews, we're going to have ourselves a beer. So this evening I've got from Fat Cat or Fat Orange Cat Brewing. This is called All the Cool Cats on the Back of the Bus and this is a hazy IPA. This is a new one that I just got my hands on just yesterday. Give that one a taste. Oh yeah, that's really good. That's really good. So, Fat Orange Cat, they're located up in Connecticut. Give them a try if you have it in your area. All right, like every episode of Bones and Brews, like us, share us, subscribe to the channel. Remember all the information on how to make this will be in the description of this episode. We'll see you again on Bones and Brews.